Hey y'all, Jeff Sawyer here. I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix, and today we're going to be talking about the new partnership between Box and IBM Bluemix. So what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the partnership itself, some of the cool things you can do with it, and then we're going to go through an example on actually how to use Box and Bluemix. So let's get started. So let's go into what Box actually is and what are some of the cool things you can do with Box. Box is a really cool file sharing service that allows you to sync your files across multiple different devices, back them up to the cloud, share them between different organizations and teams, and you can use this as the foundation for your, really your business and your file sharing service. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is go to bluemix.net. Now up here in the top right hand corner, there's a sign up and login button. If you haven't signed up for an account yet for Bluemix, go ahead and click on sign up and sign up for a free Bluemix account. It includes free 30 day trial, no information required, just an email address. After that, you can sign up and pay if you would like. So we'll go ahead and click login since I have an account. And so what is being exposed in Bluemix today is a new service uh, from Box. So this allows you to attach uh, Box's wonderful APIs to your application and use them through Bluemix now. So if we click on catalog up here at the top, we will be able to see the new Box service. So if we search for Box, it's down here at the, near the bottom, we can click on Box. So in the service here, we do have to type in some information. So you can click this link to get your, your box uh, API key, client ID, and client secret. But once you have all that information, you can now use box in your Bluemix application. So we have finally come to the time that everyone has been waiting for to see the application and then to actually go build this application. So to start this, we'll open up a new tab, go to ibm.biz slash box dash Watson. This will bring us to a page on GitHub for the application source code and how to deploy the application as well as some architecture diagrams as well. So let's check out what this app looks like before we actually click deploy and then view the application. So here's the overview of the architecture of this application. So there is a Node.js app running in Bluemix that is accessing Watson over HTTP and REST and then there is a a web app that's running in Bluemix also, that's a node that pulls in the user's files from Box and then it then passes these files to, to Watson. So let's take a look at the app. Since we've seen the architecture, let's go through how the app actually works. So first we need to click sign in with Box. If you don't have a user account with Box, I'd suggest you go sign up for one. Just go to box.com and click sign up. So for this demo, you will need some text files in your in your box account. I have a couple fun things like the State of the Union, and we'll get to those in a second, but we'll go ahead and log in first. Bluemix.demo.user1 at gmail.com. Then type in my password. Then click Authorize. So this screen's right here are kind of important. It's basically saying box is, this application is going to read your box files. Go ahead and click Grant Access to Box. So once we are logged in, we can now see the text files in our box account. So we have a couple, the State of the Union, Moby Dick, and some other books, and then Warren Buffett's uh, letter to Berkshire Hathaway stakeholders. So let's go, go ahead and click on the State of the Union address. So what's happening here is the, the, the contents of the file were fetched from box via the box REST API and then brought back to our Node app running in Bluemix, and then the Node app sends the, the, the contents of the text file to IBM Watson to do personality analytics on the personality of the author. So here we can see some of the interesting facts about the State of the Union address. We can see that the speech was very agreeable, for example. So let's take it a step further. Let's see the full personality of the speech. So we'll click the button that says full personality graph. We can see some cool trends here. So for example, Self-transcendence is really high. Openness to change is really high. Makes sense for a State of the Union address. So let's check out another file. 
So we'll go to Berkshire Hathaway, this Warren Buffett speech. We'll click on that. And again, it's pulling the contents of file from, from Box and then sending it to Watson. So we can see again, this speech is op very openness. And uh, let's go check out the full personality graph of it. So we'll click it. In this case, we can see, let's see, some fun numbers maybe. Uh, authority challenging is high. Achievement striving is really high. Intellect's really high. Imagination's really high. It's probably some good traits you want if you're a hedge fund manager or in the stock market. And so maybe that's why Warren Buffett's so successful. So let's, let's go ahead and take this a step further and then let's look how we can actually deploy this application ourselves. So we'll close out of this tab and we'll come back to GitHub. We'll scroll down a little bit on GitHub and we'll find there is a deploy to Bluemix button. Basically what this will do is we'll deploy the application for you without having to download any of the code your, yourself. If you want to download the code yourself, you can run a git clone on this repository or click this button that says download zip here on the right hand side. So there's some instructions down below that go through how to describe everything from start to finish with doing everything locally. But let's do for the demo, we're going to click this deploy the Bluemix button. I'll see it says note steps nine through 12 need to be run ma manually, even though we were clicking the deploy the Bluemix button. So let's go ahead and click this button. So all we need to do to deploy this application is just click on deploy. As we talked about earlier, there's going to be a couple manual steps we're going to have to do after the application finishes deploying. We are going to need to pull in a couple API keys. So while that's going on, let's go ahead and start doing that. So we'll go back to GitHub and scroll down the instructions. It says we need to manually complete steps 9 through 12. So we'll scroll down. Okay, there's step 8. Okay, so first we need to sign up for a Box developer account. So go ahead and click this link if you do not have a Box developer account. But if you and go go through that and sign sign up for that. So once you've signed up for that, go to developer.box.com and click on My Apps up here and cl click Create a Box application. Give it some meaningful name. We'll call it Bluemix Dash Demo Dash Jeff dash delete so I remember to delete this later and this is important leave this and check this box content this is so the application can read the files and people's accounts so we'll click on create application yay configure your application so all we need here is actually uh, three pieces of information the client ID the client secret and then something at the bottom the API key we're going to copy these pieces of information into Bluemix here in a little bit but uh, so don't freak out security gurus out there. I'm going to delete this application so these client IDs and secrets aren't sitting around on the internet for anyone to use. So let's go back and look at our application to see where it's going. So we can see as we expect that the, the deploy failed. So we need to do one little thing to import our API credentials. Then the app will be up and running. So let's click on app dashboard. This will bring up all of our applications that we have in Bluemix. So we can see all of our applications. The one we just deployed is this one though. So we'll click on it. We'll see it has automatically configured the, the Insight, Personality Insight service from Watson with the application that we use to analyze the text of the files. So let's go ahead and add box to it as well. So we'll click on add service or API. We'll scroll down in this list. We'll underneath web and application, we'll click on box. So an important piece of information where it says box dash something, it'll, it'll be randomly generated. We'll want to change this. Let's change this to, in, to box. It just needs to say box. So the API key client ID and client secret is something we're going to copy from box again. So we left this tab open earlier. So we'll come back to it. Copy the client ID, paste that in, then copy the client secret, paste that in as well, then scroll all the way to the bottom, 
We'll copy the API key then as well. We'll paste that also. Then click create. Okay, so now we're ready to start our application. Let's go back to the GitHub page just to make sure we did all the steps. So we created that. Yep, we did all that. We bound the application. So next we just need to go ahead and start it. So let's go ahead and start our application. Click on start. Let's go ahead and go ahead and start your application through video editing magic. I'm just going to speed this up. Yours won't take too long. It'll be under a minute. Shouldn't be too long. So we can see our application is up and running and everything's healthy. So let's go ahead and click on this link to go access our application here at the top right here. So again, it's the same thing we saw earlier, but it's our own instance. So you can see the URL is different this time. So we'll click sign in with box, type in our username again. We'll type in our password, then click authorize. Then click grant access to box again. So we'll, we'll be logged back into the application and we can see all the files from my box account. So the application is working awesome. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you learned what box is, what Bluemix is, and why it's a really powerful partnership between box and Bluemix. Box is a great file sharing service and great and Bluemix is a great place to get started to build a really cool application that takes advantage of boxes, APIs, and some really cool services that IBM has in Bluemix as well. I'd love to see some of the really cool wacky stuff you come up with, so shoot me a tweet on Twitter at jslyer, that is J-S-L-O-Y-E-R. And thanks again for watching.